the Big Bang? Ha! Were you there, Bill Roy? No. A biogenesis? Were you there? No. Dinosaurs lived millions of years ago? Were you there? No. Evolution? Were you there? No. Science can't deal directly with the past because the past can't be observed. Science has to be what is observable, testable, and repeatable. Since you can't do that with the past, it's not science. On the other hand, I've got a book with an eyewitness to the creation of the universe. Who are you going to trust? The eyewitness? God Almighty himself? Or the scientist who can't even observe the past? Excuse me. Hello? Uh, is this Mr. Spam? Yes? Uh, someone drove into your house. What? Oh my god! What happened? Excuse me, sir. Please stay back. My name is Ken Spam. This is my house. It's okay. Uh, Mr. Spam, uh, we think a drunk driver probably drove into your house. Uh, but that's just a theory at the moment. Oh, dear lord! Were there any witnesses? Unfortunately, no. Well, then how do you know what happened? Well, Mr. Spam, if you'll follow me... Uh, these tire tracks match a Fire Pone Widowmaker F32Q all-season tire. Four of which are attached to this 1995 Yoitota Corotta, which is registered to a Mr. Ned Haggard. A dozen bottles of liquid meth beer were found in the vehicle. Our database matched the fingerprints on the bottles to a Mr. Ned Haggard. We found several hundred more prints throughout the house, also belonging to a Mr. Ned Haggard. I take it Ned Haggard doesn't live here? No. Moving on, uh, there's a trail of blood that leads to the refrigerator. Uh, the DNA analysis of the blood matched perfectly with a Mr. Ned Haggard. Bridge appears to be raided, snagged some more DNA from the vomit matching Mr. Ned Haggard's DNA profile. When officers arrived on the scene, your DVD player was playing, uh, Naughty Caribbean Cabana Boys Revenge Volume 35. Oh, uh, that's not mine. We know. It was rented from the Oversized Sex Toy and Hardcore Porn Emporium on 27th and Main Street using a credit card belonging to a Mr. Ned Haggard, who uh, also used it to purchase liquid meth beer. The pubic hair we found on your couch also came from a Mr. Ned Haggard. DNA analysis of the semen sample we scraped off the ceiling uh, matches a Mr. Ned Haggard as well. Your back door is broken open and has a size 12 Mikey running shoe footprint on it. The Mikey footprints, uh, along with the trail of Ned Haggard blood, uh, led all the way up to... Oh, hiya, Mr. Haggard. How you doing? Uh, good. I'm a little dizzy. Ooh, that's a wicked gash there on your forehead, sir. Oh? You might want to get that looked at. Oh, by the way, Mr. Haggard, I forgot to ask you, did you by any chance happen to see who drove into Mr. Spam's house? Nope. I see. Uh, Mr. Haggard, could you please turn around and put your hands on the fence? Uh, okay. Spread your legs a little bit. Okay. You stable? Yeah. Okay, then hop on over. I hate to be rude and all, but I need you to be on the other side of that fence because technically this is a crime scene, so... Oh, okay. No, no problem. So, unfortunately, Mr. Spam, it looks like this is where the trail ends. <sighs> Damn it. Damn it, all the hell he got away. <laughs>